Hello and welcome to the Clad Possible YouTube channel. Today let's discuss a very very important event that has taken place in a region called Kosovo. So what has happened is that there has been a tussle between the North Atlantic Treaty Organization forces and the Serb dominated area of Kosovo. Apart from that, the tennis legend Novak Djokovic has made a statement which some consider quite controversial. He has said that Kosovo is very much an integral part of Serbia. So what we are going to deal with in this particular video is that what is this entire tussle or the history behind Serbia and the Kosovo conflict. Now at the very onset I'd like to tell you that we are not talking about Siberia, we are talking about a country called Serbia which is in Eastern Europe and it shares its borders with Hungary, Romania and Bulgaria. The second region that we are talking about is called Kosovo. Kosovo is also a small landlocked region in the southwestern part of Serbia and it shares its borders with countries such as Albania, North Macedonia and Montenegro. So the year we are going to start off our discussion with is the year 1389 which is when the Battle of Kosovo was fought between the Serbian prince Lazar Rebelianovic and the Ottoman Sultan Murad, where the Ottoman Empire was able to gain control of this place called Kosovo. The minute that happened, the demography of this particular region changed completely. Earlier on, it was mostly Christians who used to reside in Kosovo, but because Kosovo became a part of the Ottoman Empire, now primarily Muslims were staying in Kosovo. There was also a lot of migration that happened from Albania into Kosovo. Now as luck would have it, by the time it was 1912, Ottoman Empire started getting disintegrated. And this place called Kosovo, it came back to Siberia. But now Kosovo had completely changed. No longer were, was it Christian dominated, it was now Muslim dominated. And the people couldn't really get along with each other. Eventually, if we talk about after World War II ended, from around 1945 till almost 1992, the area in the Balkans, which comprised of countries such as Serbia, Slovenia, Macedonia, Montenegro, all of them were basically one country, which was officially called the Socialist Federal Republic of Yugoslavia, with Belgrade as its capital. But however, as the USSR disintegrated in 1991, the disintegration of Yugoslavia also happened. In fact, the first country to secede from Yugoslavia was Slovenia. And now when that happened, Again, Kosovo became a part of Serbia. And Serbia did in fact give Kosovo an autonomy to, you know, rule. We will not use the term rule, but there was a little bit of autonomy that was given to this particular region. But autonomy did not mean, and still does not mean, that Serbia thinks that Kosovo is a different country. Now, like I said, the demography had completely changed. So by 1998, there were certain ethnic Albanian rebels who formed what is known as the Kosovo Liberation Army. They wanted to challenge the Serbian rule. In fact, there was a brutal response by Serbia towards the Kosovo Liberation Army. And in fact, the North Atlantic Treaty Organization in 1999 had to intervene in this particular matter and ever since then NATO forces are stationed in Kosovo. Apart from that what we need to know is that there are many countries that considered Kosovo as a separate country altogether like the US, other majority European Union countries, Japan, Australia but countries such as India, 
Russia and China do not think that Kosovo is a sovereign country. They think that Kosovo is very much an integral part of Serbia. Now, what has happened very recently is that in Kosovo, there have been certain local elections. And the Serbs who are staying in Kosovo did not even turn up for voting in these elections because they called it a sham. And the ethnic Albanians have won those elections. And in a protest to that, there was a little bit of a tussle which got violent and which is why Kosovo and Serbia are in news today. And also because of the comment that was made by the man who has just won a lot of Grand Slams, 23 to be precise. Yes, I'm talking about Novak Djokovic. So that is all from my end. For more such informative videos, kindly keep watching Clap Possible and thank you very much.